not sure why this thing is leaking fuel right here um, I think it's fine one of the perks of having a gas motor it leaks I don't know if you noticed but we got the autopilot the ultra laziest kayak in the world we have it outfitted with the Suzuki 2.5 and I loaded up everything everything on this kayak is I'm ready to go to the water you got everything here rods ice cooler motors batteries everything amp outdoors lithium battery for the wind guys lithium battery 100 at hour i could you i could go three times fishing and not worry about recharging oh it depends where you go but like that's for me for my for what i do it's enough use coupon code alias5 save you five percent but i want to highlight this maloney card right here this thing is just crazy man look i just loaded up this thing i'm gonna take it all the way down over there and let's see how it does let me get my phone put it somewhere recording so i could record the action you know see see the things that us youtubers have to do that's like good right there all right let's do this it's fully loaded dude just need to watch out for the rods uh should have done that because i'm breaking a rod every minute fully loaded i mean i don't recommend you doing this for long treks just like if you have a small area to cover or you're very powerful and here lies our biggest problem how are we going to do this <laughs> i don't know if they were going to fix this but this is actually a problem to launch kayaks here I had a feeling that the, the tide's coming in <laughs> that I was gonna find my boat in the middle of this area here and I was thinking how am I gonna go after it well it only was like two minutes so it wasn't that bad but it still see there has a lot more water than before question guys so sometimes I find myself that I only catch fish on jig heads and sometimes I find myself that I only catch fish on wheelers like it i can't pinpoint why different places you go fishing you fish a certain way like here yeah i may catch a fish or two fishing over there but that, going on my way over there but that's not my goal my goal is to just get there like but yesterday we were in the um, flamingo and i fish all the way but i know where the fish are i know where they live now one shot motor is up it's lifted we're going at 3.4 miles an hour right here 3.4 3.5 miles an hour so let's go ahead and bring this motor down and let's compare the speeds four miles an hour right now a little bit of gas Four point seven, four point nine, five miles an hour. Five point five, five point seven. I want to bring it down to two, only two. Yeah, there, here. So right here, five point four, five point five miles an hour, which is two full miles faster than just the motor in the front. That cuts your t basically you save an hour. If you think about it, save an hour going over there and coming back. That's two hours that you have. You have extra time to fish. <clears throat> Not a lot of setup here. Now I don't recommend you using this motor like this. You should do a platform that is way higher than the motor is not on the water. Hey guys. So they stole one of my crabs a year ago and I'm gonna make a video so it was one of these people I'm not saying it was him I'm saying one of these people that collect the, cra the crab traps 
because it was gone and they don't own the water like they don't own this water here they are they're able to use it just as i'm able to use it so they stole my crap it's a snook it's a nice snook by the way I know they love this bait and I knew it I knew it I'm gonna try to flip it I don't have my net take your time not that big so maybe we could land them it's an excellent fight dude nice nook here for this area it's not that big oh it's big dude it's big whoa i guess there's something to do with paying attention to your surrounding and the baits that work in your area i know the weather is cold i know kudos are not here so i, I knew snooks were around like i i didn't know i, I had a feeling the water is kind of murky here they like to stay in murky waters and they go after this filter type of thing this forget the name it's a gulp this color they love it let me give it a little bit of water and i want to measure it just for fun this is not a legal snook or anything but i just want to see how big it is i got my special high alia ruler right here but uh, i said today i didn't say out loud but i said today uh goal is to catch a snook and the snook is here let's go do the test oof dude relax so from there oh wow it's like it's like i'm gonna call it 26 oh wow two more inches and this nook is legal right here in in chicken key oh my god look at this beautiful fish it's just beautiful snook i'm gonna give it more oxygen and take a picture but the goal today guys was to catch this guy and we caught him oh look what is that there i was saying that snook's small it's not that big 26 inches dude 26 inches you give it two more inches and it's dinner time dude i don't even know let's see if nook season is even a thing <laughs> 